This is a polystyrene fitting. And again, this was thin walled PVC. And this fitting fits well into there. Um, this is thin wall, okay? It's made of a different poly, not polyvinyl chloride, but polystyrene. This is made of polyvinyl chloride. Um, two different materials, they fit well together. However, there's really not much of a glue that can hold this. Um, it just makes a mechanical bond between the two. This is Schedule 40 uh, PVC, and you can see it's three inch. This is the three to four adapter, and you can see this does not fit Schedule 40. It's because the inside wall of this pipe is actually thicker, and the outside diameter is a little bit larger than thin wall. These are both four inch tees. This is actually called a sanitary tee because it's got like a little Y built into it. This is schedule 40. This tee is a straight tee, but it is thin walled. Here's our, our thin walled PVC. Okay, 3,000 pound crush, crush. This is four inch. And here's our thin walled fitting. And you can see it fits really nice in there, nice and snug. And these actually can be glued together and it will will weld and make a bond. This is our schedule 44 inch PVC, thin wall PVC. And you can see it fits inside but there's no way that it's going to be a very good connection because it's just so much smaller outside diameter than the schedule 40 PVC. So when you go and buy pipe, schedule 40 PVC is really overkill for your uh, rainwater drainage. Thin wall PVC is a great choice. Also, corrugated is a great choice if installed properly. This is just a three inch Y to show you another um, piece of corrugated. Show you one more thing. Back to our thin walled three inch PVC. And you can see it does fit inside the corrugated Y, but it's not a tight fit. So again, wouldn't recommend making this connection without the proper adapter, okay? So we've looked at several different kinds of pipe. You know, sorry, this is September in North Carolina. Uh, the president was just here the other day for their Democratic convention. So you know that this time of year, it's just humid. And I'm just standing out here and starting to drip. So anyways, let's take a look at the video of actually crushing this pipe. And what I've done is dug a small trench, laid different materials into the trench, and covered that trench just on the sides so that you can see how strong this material is. And what I'm gonna do is run the van over it, which this is a one-ton van, which means that my gross weight is about 7,200 pounds, each axle 3,600 pounds. So we're exceeding the recommended uh, crush rate of all this material except for schedule 40 PVC which we're going to show you too so let's take a look